Kanye West is right now addressing voters in South Carolina as he kicks off his bid to become president of the United States of America. Kanye held his first campaign event in South Carolina on Sunday night, which proved to be a little uncomfortable. Bipolar disorder affects an estimated 7 million Americans, but many still have misconceptions about the condition. Today, reality TV star Kim Kardashian West made a public plea for compassion for her husband, Kanye West. When Harriet Tubman... Well, Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves. She just had the slaves go work for other white people. Y'all, we leave it right now. I honestly think that we are witnessing the mental deterioration of Kanye West. So, obviously, we need to talk about it. Grace, oh grace, every time you come around, I feel... My name is Danielle, welcome to or welcome back to my channel where I basically post whatever I want and I do it twice a week. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. My goal is to reach 500 subscribers by the end of August and I'm really close. I think I'm at like 380 right now, which is beyond me, but we're here. But in today's video, we are going to be talking about Kanye West, mental health, and perceptions of like mental illness within society. So first, background kanye west announced in like early june that he planned on running for president so he currently is running for president whether or not you agree with that decision it's happening he has said that he intends on distancing himself from the nation's current president because i don't know he wants to establish his own reputation he wants to be his own person whatever in my opinion i don't really care that he's running for president slash it doesn't it's in my mind i'm not like losing sleep over it because i can't afford to lose sleep and brain cells over connie west gallivanting around the country using his wealth in order to like have this faux campaign i think it is important that we talk about a recent campaign rally that he had in South Carolina because Chile, it was a mess. You guys are in a crisis. I'm on my way. So, first off, this campaign rally. He was wearing a bulletproof vest. He had 2020 written in his hair. <laughs> And he was just talking about a lot of different stuff, both like personal and policy, I guess. He's talking about how his mom saves his life because his dad wanted his mom to get an abortion, but his mom said no. My mom saved my life. There would have been no Kanye West because my dad was too busy. And that allowed him to be here and be Kanye West. And he was relating that back to his own life with his daughter, saying that he almost killed his daughter. And literally in the video, the whole crowd was really quiet. It's kind of awkward, but really touching for him, obviously, because he starts getting really emotional talking about it. In addition to that, he also talks about Harriet Tubman and how Harriet Tubman didn't really free the slaves. I'm going to quote what he said. He said, and I quote, she just had the slaves go work for other white people. Um... Harriet Tubman was walking around with a fucking nice shiny fucking dress on with a fucking crown on her head when she was taking slaves <laughs> to freedom! But, but we're gonna... Anyways, so honestly, his political positions, which like definitely are harmful in ways, are irrelevant to the race and that he isn't even running. Now, the reality check for Kanye is that the, to win the presidential election, you need to win 270 electoral college votes. And he's missed the filing deadline in so many states that even if he made the deadlines in all other states and got the signatures that he needed, there are only 306 electoral college votes available to him. So he'd virtually have to win every single state. And that's pretty much impossible. Also, in South Carolina specifically, he needs to get 10,000 signatures by noon on Monday. And it is Saturday and I'm almost positive he doesn't have that many signatures. <laughs> Essentially, he doesn't have a campaign. November is right around the corner in terms of like the presidential race. There are people who either dedicate two to four years to preparing for a presidential run or their whole lives for a presidential run. Not saying anyone could just up and decide that they want to run for president, but I'm saying that he really just like upped and decided to run for president and isn't even like fully committing to it. Therefore, I really don't think he has like a credible campaign. I don't think it's really worth focusing on the political aspect of the campaign. So yes, I'm not gonna focus on the politics of it, surprise. But I am here to talk about Kanye's behavior and like public reactions to said behavior. Now, I feel like we have to talk about Kanye West's mental health specifically. 
If you do not know, Kanye West has bipolar disorder. Disclaimer, I'm not a mental health specialist, so I'm gonna tell you what I read up on about bipolar disorder while doing like research for this. Bipolar disorder. The exact cause of it isn't known, but a combination of factors like genetics, your environment, and your brain structure, they influence how it manifests in your own life, how it plays out for each person and there are manic episodes and depressive episodes that come along with bipolar disorder so a manic episode may include high energy reduced need for sleep and loss of touch with reality depressive episodes may include symptoms such as low energy low motivation and a loss of interest in daily activities mood episodes can last from like days to months and in terms of treatment it's usually a lifelong thing it's not like you have bipolar disorder for a day and it's done it's someone learning how to deal with it as it manifest in their life throughout their lifetime. In terms of Kim Kardashian, because oh my gosh, his tweets were coming for her too and they were also a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Her and her family have been kind of silent and recently she made like a, a Instagram story response to like what's been going on, just saying how she and her family recognize that Kanye West's mental health is showing itself, if that makes any sense. Today on Instagram, his wife, Kim Kardashian West, asked for compassion and empathy for those with mental illness, saying he is a brilliant but complicated person and has to deal with the pressure and isolation that is heightened by his bipolar disorder. People need to show empathy instead of like viewing this as something that's comical because he really is going through it. And she emphasizes the fact that his family knows that there's like mental health concerns and he probably knows that he has his own mental health history. Only he can ask and like go and seek out help if he wants to. I guess they're saying that like they, they can't do anything unless he wants to get help. You have all the money and the resources, but that doesn't change the fact that your illness has impaired your ability to get help. Psychiatrist Dr. Sue Pharma says bipolar disorder can cause heightened emotions and impaired judgment. Which is understandable, but even with that, I feel like with the family, it's kind of like half being like, we're waiting for him to come to us, and also half like we're stepping away from him a little bit while he's doing whatever he needs to do in the public eye. I think what's really sad about the situation is people are so quick to laugh at him, but honestly, after seeing his tweets, I was just like scared for him in the sense that like he very much so seems like he needs help. I know he has a very complex and publicized history of publicly lashing out, most notably the Taylor Swift performance where he basically said that Taylor Swift didn't deserve the award and Beyonce did. Taylor, I I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. No comment, but I think with this situation, where he is at right now, he is visibly going through it. He is verbally, through Twitter, communicating ideas and thoughts that are signals, I feel like, to the world that he needs some type of mental help. And I'm not saying that in like a, oh my gosh, he's crazy type of way, because I think that's harmful, but in a, like seriously, someone needs to make sure he's okay type of way. Oh, my voice, oh my gosh. So I want to, end off by talking about false equivalencies in mental illness. Basically, living with a mental illness is something that a lot of people can attest to or speak on because it's not uncommon for people to have depression or bipolar disorder or anxiety disorder or ADHD. There are different neurological things that people go through whether or not they talk about them or not. However, 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 not all people with a mental illness spew hatred. Not all people with a mental illness spew anti-blackness and not all people with a mental illness spew sexist comments like Kanye West is doing at the moment or has done in the past. Some people are really trying to stigmatize all people who show the same behavior that Kanye is showing in terms of saying that people with mental illnesses automatically are like this because Kanye West, a man with a mental illness is like this. I don't think that's fair or right. I think if you're gonna cancel him, cancel him for his ideas, cancel him for his personal beliefs, but don't cancel him because he's demonstrating behaviors associated clearly with a like mental illness that he has. I don't think that's right. And also don't make a generalization that all people who have some type of mental illness are like that because then you make people feel like they are different or worse than 
because they're neurodivergent, because they're not neurotypical. I think that's weird and wrong. I think that people can be very reductive and be very unfair in attributing certain ways of being onto people. So in sum, Kanye, for real, for real, needs help. That is very obvious. And I am personally not holding this disorder against him because I personally think that he's going through something right now and isn't getting help because either he doesn't know how to or maybe he just doesn't want to. I, however, will hold him to his personal belief and I will hold him to personal ideas that he espouses because I don't know, it's like that's him personally thinking that as an individual and he himself is expressing his views on his own behalf he is not speaking for a community of people in general so i think that's how we should approach it how do we focus on the individual but take into consideration their mental health history and background rather than being like okay well he's like this so everybody must be and with that thank you for watching thank you for sticking around make sure to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram my instagram is daniel.ml i post pictures and videos of myself my life and me being joyful i'll see you in my next video i'm sorry that the video has been kind of lacking lately i have been extremely trusting and I am trying to make sure that I still remember that this is a priority for me because I care a lot about it. So I expect to see more videos and hope to see you again. Okay, goodbye.